Hello again, and for today, I am going to be doing kind of a shorter video for Saturday. Uh, I am recording this on Thursday, and the real reason why I wanted to do a small video is because of, again, my apologies for not having a lot of content out this month so far. So I'm trying to do my best to make up for it with um, a little video on what I would call my analysis of six months into content creation. Uh, over the past week, I did uh, intentionally cause a flame war with Ethan Van Piver's little cronies. And this is because I really felt like it. I felt like it was time to, you know, attack the beast head on, you know, show no fear, show no mercy, kill them all. <laughs> and, uh, well, from my point of things, I see it as uh, what is the actual point in content creation if you're not out there trying to make a name for yourself. I mean, the, the whole thing of my grind for six months has not really netted me the kind of results I wanted. I wanted to have at least 100 subscribers by the end of the year. It seems like I will probably be on course to have 100 subscribers by the end of my first year of YouTube, which is disastrous considering previous YouTube metrics, considering that I've used... Uh, like jump cut tactics, considering that I've used the kind of outrage clickbait that has gathered in this sphere to drive views. And overall, as a former uh, full-time independent filmmaker, I have noticed that there are lots of big differences between the way filmmakers make content and the way YouTubers make content. For one, YouTubers don't have all of these like big fucking stifling uh like rules to follow the way filmmakers do you know filmmakers have to abide by a paid crew filmmakers have to abide by a cast that they have chosen filmmakers have to abide by the writers that they are adapting work from filmmakers have to abide by producers who are financing the money with youtube all of that shit goes out the fucking window and you can just do whatever you want as long as you feel it is genuinely good enough to post. And to me, that is the most freeing thing about being a content creator, is having that ability to just do whatever I fucking want. And it's awesome, man. It's so awesome. But the whole problem, and this is the other side of the coin, is that who's listening? It's been my issue ever since I started posting short films on Vimeo, who the fuck is watching? Who the fuck is paying attention to what I have to do? And I'm going to keep reading into theory at this point uh, as far as what I can do to improve the channel as far as getting more people to watch the content. Because for me, I really like this. I actually quite love this and enjoy it. I have put off actually sometimes hanging out with my friends just so I can sit here and make content for you guys. Because to me, this brings joy. This brings value. This brings meaning into my life. You know, the way that Jordan Peterson would talk about, you know, you gotta have meaning. You need responsibility. Sort yourself out, buffo. Clean your room, wash your penis. And as a result, I, I feel like even, you know, if my filmmaking career doesn't go the way I want it to, as long as I can continue to do these YouTube videos, I can do whatever the hell I want with my life. And it, I have never felt more free is really, I think, the whole crux of this, uh, of this short, short, short commentary. Because I really don't know what else to expect right now other than, you know... If I push enough buttons, then maybe I can brace for impact and be involved in some kind of controversy that will help my channel grow. And from there, I can, you know, just make the content I want. And if people don't like it, well, then they can go because I'm going to make the content that I want. And then if you like it, well, then that's awesome. And if you don't, well, then that's fine, too. I really don't mind that you don't like it. But just know that I am not a YouTuber that's going to cover current events and talk about all the shit that's going on in the news. Because to me, I see that as some kind of giant distraction made up by a bunch of globalist elites who want us to not really actually solve any of the problems that befall our planet Earth. <laughs> and 
So I guess I'd say in conclusion, I feel like I've grown a lot doing this kind of commentary stuff. I can't wait to see what I grow into throughout the years. Uh, I hope six months from now I'm in a somewhat different state than I am currently. I hope that something does happen. And even if it doesn't, again, I'm going to commit to this grind because this grind is so fucking meaningful right now. It's so freeing to just talk about stuff that I see a problem with and that I potentially may have a solution for. So to all of my enemies out there, all my haters, you better tread lightly because the train ain't stopping anytime fucking soon.